Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Well, since you are too private to tell your business, I guess I'll have to tell mine. Now, this is an example of how life happens to show you or me the flesh that lurks under the surface. <laughs> One time, my father, when I was taking care of him, and I wanted to take care of him. This wasn't something that was put on me. I volunteered because he was too good of a father for me to abandon him, and he needed help at this time. So I asked God to let me take care of him. And the comical part is I had all the skills down. I had the know-how. I had the, the, they call him now, um, what is it, nurse something certificate. Back then they just called it nurse's aid certificate. So I had the skills. Okay, now what my father did was he would call me. I would spend most of the day with him in the bedroom watching TV. That's where we put the TV. Everything was right there for him to make it easy for him. And, uh, and sometimes I'd need a break. And I would tease him and say, okay, I'm tired of looking at your ugly mug. I'm going to go in the kitchen or I'm going to go in the living room. I'm going to give somebody a call or whatever. And sometimes he gets so caught up in the TV, he would forget that I said I was going to take a break. And within five minutes, sometimes he would call. He didn't want anything. He just wanted to know where I was. Well, see, he knew the old me. And the old me would tip out the house and just go. So I'm sure there were times he was feeling quite vulnerable and nervous about me falling back to my old ways, which I didn't do. But he still had that right to be that skittish. So here I am in the other room, and I'm battling my own flesh because I'm just starting. I've only been saved for months now. I haven't been saved a year or two or three or 10 or 15 or 20 or 40. I've only been saved a few months. So. I'm battling me. My father calls me. I just stepped out the room, sat in the living room trying to do my hair. And he called me. I got so angry every... Oh, I acted ugly, y'all. I'm going to embarrass myself. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Everything I had in my hand went flying across the room. I was cussing. Oh, yes, I did. I was cussing. I was fussing. I was yelling. I was crying. I really got ugly, y'all. Well, <clears throat> after I showed my not-so-narrow behind, I sat there and asked God to forgive me because I was fighting tooth and nail from cussing because I knew from the scriptures I read that it was the devil's language. It, that's not a conversation you have with God. And, and I knew that it wasn't the kind of language that glorified God. So I was really trying to clean my mouth up, my language, everything. And I had a fit, had a hissy fit. Well, what I was battling that moment was selfishness it was all about me what does he want now this is my time this is me 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 anyway so instead of me going in to say okay what do you need no you don't need anything okay i'm doing my hair okay so i'll be back in about 20 minutes give me about 20 minutes don't be afraid i'm not going anywhere instead of just doing that i you know which i would do now i had a hissy fit and thank I mean, God is so good. He didn't even let my father hear all the stuff I was saying. He was in the back bedroom with the door half closed. Oh, thank you. Because <clears throat> I'm trying to be an example <coughs> to my father. So, <coughs> excuse me. So I sat there and I cried and I said, Lord, please forgive me. That, that was just pure selfishness. I should not have gone off like that. He didn't deserve that. And I, then I said this. I love God. I said, God, why do I go off like that? What makes me get so angry? Besides the selfishness, what makes me get so angry? 
Where I go off to such extremes. <coughs> Excuse me. You know what? I didn't expect an answer, but I got one. And the answer was this, in one word. And that's all he said. <laughs> Rage. Rage? I got rage? Am I that full of rage? Oh, Lord. Yeah, I was surprised, believe it or not. Dum diddy dum dum didn't have a clue. But I was glad I asked God because when he said rage, the next thing I prayed after that was, Lord, would you work all the rage out of me? I do not want to live that ugly for the rest of my life. I want that cleaned out of me. <coughs> Excuse me. So, that's what happened. The process began that moment when God showed me my own ugliness. I covered it in prayer. And God got to working on me. And it wasn't overnight, but it was pretty fast. That was the last time I went off on anybody. Okay? Now, I've got mad at me, but that was the last time I went off on anybody like that. Things flying through the air. Mm -hmm. Temper tantrum. Big old baby. Big old brat. Spoiled and selfish. Thank God for his truth. That's what Jesus means when he says, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Are you willing to face the truth about yourself? Don't just stand there and say, ah, this is me. Had been like this all my life. Whatever, folks just have to deal. Anyway, no. True repentance brings about change. <laughs> 